Hey folks, Hal Shirtliff here, diner aficionado. And I am here on a uh, early March of 2018 Sunday morning at the world famous Zips Diner in Dayville, Connecticut. And let me read you the little, make it easy, our brief history. First things first, the name Zip was the nickname of retired Connecticut State Trooper Henry Zerrer. Zip started in the diner business in 1946 in Danielson, Connecticut, just next door. The original diner was located on Route, route 6 between the Powdrill and Alexander Mill in what is today the Danielson Post Office. The diner operated until 1954 when Zerrer purchased a brand new O'Mahony Diner, and that's what you're looking at now and had it shipped up from uh, north from Elizabeth, New Jersey. The new diner also had a new location, its current location, and it went on, uh, on the intersection of 12 and 101, just a short distance from uh, I-395, oh, about a half hour or so south of Worcester, Massachusetts. When the new diner opened in its new location in Dayville on Memorial Day weekend, 1954, it was run by a young Conrad and Olive Jodon. The Jodons purchased the diner from the Zeros in 1960. Over the following years, it became a truly family business with help from their children, Tom, Nancy, James, and Robert. All had a hand in running the business. And in 1980, the diner began its second generation of ownership under Tom Jodan and brothers Robert and James running the kitchen. Today, the diner is now on the third generation of family ownership. Kevin Cole, Nancy's son, Tom's nephew, purchased the diner from Tom in early 2010 with Robert still running the kitchen. The classic 50s diner has a lot of history and has served customers from around the world. We've fed many famous customers as well as a few infamous customers like Dr. Cashaw here, one of the infamous ones, and of course myself. Uh, uh, Liberace, Alec Baldwin, I'm no fan of Alec Baldwin, uh, Kim Bassinger, Brian Dennehy, and Renee Zellweger. We've also seen our share of athletes. Ted Williams and Joe DiMaggio would stop in on the way to sculptor Armand Lamontage. We also served Carl Yastrzemski and can count current boxing champ Peter Manfredo Jr. as a regular customer. We at Zips have always prided ourselves in keeping a very clean establishment with fast and friendly service, a tradition passed from generation to generation. We hope you enjoy your experience as much as we enjoy serving you. And it is a nice place. They're very professional. You'll greet it with a young man in a tie. And the wait staff here is very good. And the food is outstanding. So please, if you're in the area, make sure you get a chance to visit Zips. It's open. Um, I should have got the hours for you. But... They have a website, uh, but they're open seven days a week, early in the morning. I think they close. I don't think they open all night long, but anyway, definitely worth your time.